Okay, here we are again with Eric Young from Rally Cycling. Eric, you just won your second stage in three days. Um, the Downtown Crit Tour of the Gila. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome stuff. Uh, so, comp complicated situation for you guys. You have the leader's jersey. You also have arguably the fastest man in the race in a sprint. Arguably. What it, what did how did the conversation go down before the race? What was the what uh, was the strategy? This whole week, really, the priority has been the overall, right? That's the big prize. Um, but for me, it's it's relatively easy. You know, I'm able to freelance kind of the finishes and do it on my own. Um, I've been riding well this week, so you know that's been able to happen. So as long as you know nothing went totally pear shaped and I had to help out pulling on the front to bring back some GC threats or whatever. As long as that didn't happen, I had, I had kind of uh, free reign to go for the finish. So worked out today. Um, one of the other teams kind of did the lead out, and I was just able to kind of use them and you know sit in there and finish her off. So yeah, it didn't look yeah. like it looked like a little chaotic. Like nobody's really taking control right control anyways, of the chase. And, always chaotic, you know. So, um, looked like yeah. uh, Rob Britton was at the front there doing a lot of work mm -hmm. today, um, which is surprising because he's also yeah, uh, up on uh, yeah. Uh, really neat to see. Um, so what can you take us just through that last lap? How'd that go down? Yeah, so there was uh, an attack on the hill on the back stretch on the last lap, and Carl Menzies was kind of the last lead out guy for Silence. Uh, he followed him out, and then Eric Marcotte, who was kind of at the back of their their train, um, followed him, and I was right on their wheel. Um, just kind of went like that all around to the last corner, um, and I actually ended up in in front of Marcotte, uh, second wheel in the last corner, and then. Was that in your head? Were you like thinking there's, 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 there's good? Second was definitely where I wanted to be. Yeah. yeah. That's the, there was a bit of a tailwind on the start finish line straight, so it was going to be like a fast sprint. It's hard to pass when you're going that fast already. Right. Um, Menzi seems like a great wheel to follow through a, totally. a fast corner. Totally. He's not. He's going to be fine. He's not going to crash. He's not going to mess it up at all. I mean, he didn't. He went fast. He was good. Um, I mean, he honestly did a perfect lead out if I was his teammate, right? So, right. Um, yeah. And I was just able to, you know, open her up and... Yeah, we talked a couple days ago uh, about the hills back there and how they start to wear on you. How did your legs feel through those? Yeah, hills in the today? middle, it was you know I kind of felt a little bit not good, um, but that kind of happens a lot. And as a sprinter, you have to be able to um, kind of say uh, you just kind of have to ignore it every once in a while and know that you'll feel better at the end, which is counterintuitive because the race is going longer and you think you just get worse, um, but you do. The adrenaline starts moving differently and. Uh, it kind of just disappears and it evens out and you move up you're you know it's easier at the front so when you're at the front you can recover a little bit quicker um, yeah and then just the last 10 laps like oftentimes the pain kind of goes away and you're just like in the zone you focus and then that's what that's what happens so even though yeah you felt like crap earlier it's like you just gotta do it anyway nice uh, here's another one uh, Derek Rose or Scotty Pippen mm, Scotty Pippen Okay. I kind of figured. Seemed like a classic Bulls guy. I, I grew up with Jordan and Pippen and Dennis Rodman. Crazy. <laughs> the worm. I mean, crazy. <laughs> well, those guys were awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, obviously you're on good form. You think you'll take the Gila Monster tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, didn't we already uh, talk about this last time? Hundred <laughs> percent. Yes. All right. Bet on it. Uh, congratulations again, Eric. Always awesome to see you win a big race, and uh, look forward to seeing what you do the rest of the year. Thanks.